Hi Crafty Creators! Welcome back to Floss Truth! As always, you guys are such genuine gems for joining me. Thank you so much for coming along today. A huge welcome back to all of my returning subscribers and viewers. You guys know you absolutely make my day and warm my heart every time you drop a cheeky little like or leave a comment downstairs so that we can have a chat. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing. And a hi, hello, how are you to anyone that might be new and have just found us. I hope you like what you've seen so far and that you found a reason to stay and hang out with all of these crafty creators. My name is Miss Chloe and this is my little corner of the internet where I get to share my cross stitching journey with you guys. Today I've got so much to update you on. I have five projects sitting on the table in front of me. One is a new start, two are starts and finishes, one is a finish and one is a work in progress. <laughs> so I feel like I've got a lot done in the last two weeks and I can't wait to share it with you. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you is my work in progress because you've seen her before so you'll be expecting to see her again. I have been working on the stars hollow pieces from Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. I am currently working on Autumn which fun fact was the first pattern released but is the third pattern over in the banner. So on here I filled out the bottom of the copper boom and I have started putting in the grey around Rory's skirt. I was hoping to get Rory's skirt done, um, but my stitching time just did not work out this two weeks. Um, but we got, we got a good amount done. I think we're halfway through the gray. So I'm pretty happy with that. I hit my number goals on it. Um, so I think I got five or 600 stitches in and I was pretty happy with that. This one is really tiny when I hold her back here, which is why I had to put in her nice and close for you guys to see. Um, but I am loving how small it is and how it's turning out. I am doing this as one over one in all the called for threads with a few little change exceptions because you know I just can't help myself. Just can't help myself. I have to personalize it somewhere. Um, and this is on a 28 count even weave. It's just a white from Zweigart, but I'm really enjoying it. It's really, really stable and it's just so nice to work on. Um, so I definitely have been feeling the call of this piece because I miss retreat. You guys, <laughs> it only goes for a few days, but it really captures your heart. Like the people that you chat with every day at retreat are just the most amazing humans. And then you have to go cold turkey. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. I always need like a retreat support group so that after retreat, I can come and chat with you guys and hang out. Um, thankfully last time I was working on this, I had a phone call with my friend Cora. She is in Canada. Um, so we did a set a Friday night, Friday morning <laughs> phone call. Um, so it was Friday night for me, Friday morning for her. And we hung out for a few hours before she had to work and we stitched together. And it was really lovely just to sit and chat and be able to stitch. Um, I think, I think it was about 10 o'clock at night for me. So it was pretty late, but thanks to retreat, I was ready to work on the tiny count at that time of night. Um, I'm actually finding it easier, which is very strange to say because you'd think with such a small count that you'd need to work on it in the daytime when you've got big bright lights. No, because I worked on this mostly in my evening and at night, my brain immediately switches into the mode and it's just like, okay, now we go on the 28th. We can do this. Um, I haven't made any changes to autumn yet. So far, it's everything as cold. So we'll see how we go with that. We'll see how we go. Um, I think from retreat, we had one of the sprinkles on the pop tart on my friend Cece's piece that fell into the fruit stand. So I'm gonna have to put a sprinkle in the fruit stand because retreat life. Um, so it's a good thing I haven't stitched that yet. I just have to keep it in my noggin so that we can do it a bit later. But I am absolutely loving doing this. I never thought I'd be an over one kind of person on small counts. I was always kind of like, mm, no, no, that sounds like a bad idea. My eyes are gonna hurt. But I was really surprised at how easily I transitioned to 28 count and how much I'm enjoying it. I really love that the pieces are so small and like compact as well. I've got two pieces on 28 count now, this one, and the scary sampler, which you guys have seen before, she's not coming out this video. I have been 
a little bit obsessed with something else that you'll see later so I have not been stitching on scary but I will give her her five days later on this month so you'll see her in the next update um, and I just really love it everything's so delicate and so petite and of course your thread goes so much further because you're not using two lengths and it's going over a much shorter space which is super nice, super nice, because I can do like twice as many things now and I'll have all the wall space to hang them up because they're so small and so sweet, so sweet. So this is where this one's up to and I was thinking about putting this one away for a while um, because I have quite a few other things that I want to work on and this one is not super portable being so tiny, I need to make sure I've got a good light situation to work on her, um, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, if I can work on her, I would like to get my last aim in and finish off Rory's skirt. So I'd like to put in the actual blue skirt itself as well as finish off this gray backgrounding. Um, but yeah, that's what that one's up to. Next up, we have my finish, you guys. I did it. This is from the Black Needle Society's Celebrate All Year Sal. And this was April. Um, as you can see from the close up there, we've got loads of stars. We've got all the planets, uh, little constellations and the sun. I just love this. I think the colors came out really, really well on this fabric and it all just pops so nicely, especially when I hold it back, you can really see like the red in there and the blues. And I think it's just gorgeous. I have always loved space and stars and all of that sort of thing. So to be able to stitch it and have it as a monthly change out now is just so good. I think Katie did a great job designing this and I absolutely loved stitching it. It only took me a couple of days. The best thing about these stitch along pieces is they're not super huge. This is on a 16 count Ada. It's a navy from Zweigart. Um, and it is stitched two over one, so two threads over one square. And I love the coverage. I love how it's come out. It's just really cute. Look at the size, face for scale. Um, <laughs> um, and I just, I really, really like it. I like it a lot. I like that these aren't huge installments, so they feel very manageable. And you get the pattern and the file and you download it and you look at it and it's just over a thousand stitches or so. And you, you think, yeah, I can do that in a few days. And it feels like you can really achieve your goal very, very easily, which is super nice. And there's not a lot of color changing. They're fairly blocky. So Katie's really looked after us to make sure we can all get them out in time. And I love that. I love that so much. It's just such a cute little piece and I cannot wait to do next month already. I can't wait to see what it is. I am very excited. If you have any guesses, things that you know are national month of or international month of for next month, drop them in the comments below. Let me know. We'll see who is correct. Um, because I'm just really interested to see what it could possibly be. Um, so I'm hoping to do all of the pieces as one bit and then do all of the finishing as one bit, because I do have the full finishing kit for this. Um, and that way I can just set aside like an entire weekend and do all my finishing together. I do have the other three ready to go. And because they're on their own piece, I'm thinking about cutting them out and getting the groundwork laid just a little bit so that she's ready to finish off and put up the actual frame. But this is what this one looks like. I am not cutting it at the moment because one, I wanna be able to like practice and get a good working order for what I do. And two, if I cut it, the fabric's not gonna fit in my Q-snap anymore. Um, and I need it in my Q-snap so that I can work on it because hoops make my hands cramp. They are just too thin to work with for me. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for the next update. Very excited. Can't wait to see what that one is. Next up for you, I've got two start and finishes. One is a minis kit and one is a little bit bigger and was actually gifted to me by a friend. So the first one I did was this cute little amok 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 which is of course from the hocus pocus movie a big shout out to my girls mel liz and amy who all gave me a hand to modify this pattern just a little tiny bit because you know i can't help myself 
So originally this pattern is designed to be all in the purple thread, completely backstitched, which I think is overkill in black. And then those stars, those stars are supposed to be six petite stitches, which if you don't know, a petite stitch is a quarter stitch on Ada. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, so while I was doing it, I had a word with Mel and Liz and I gave them my ideas. So my ideas were either to do what I did, which was the two outsides in the orange and the middle in the purple to make it all stand out and look a bit different, or to go orange, purple, and then do a mix of the threads or a gradient. Um, and I ended up landing on the two outsides in orange and then the middle in purple, obviously. <laughs> Um, and they were really, really good about feedback. So that was awesome. Um, they also helped me decide that the back stitch was overkill and that we just were not going to go there because that's not fun. We don't need that in our lives. Um, and then I was on the phone with Amy when I got up to doing the little stars in the middle of the word amok. And I was like, I'm so close to finishing this pattern, but it's absolutely disgusting. I might put it away. And I was talking to her and she told me to Google Algerian eyelets. So I did. And that is what we have in the middle. Um, it's basically eight lengths of thread that just go out from the center hole to the opposite corners and diagonal points. So you just run them out from the middle every time and it pulls it open just a little bit in the center, but it sits straight and it looks like a little star. So I thought that was a really cute change. Thank you so much, ladies. You really helped me make this one a good piece because I was gonna have a bad time. Bad time splitting up Ada on quarter stitches. No, thank you. Um, so I'm really glad I made the changes and I'm really happy with how it came out. I love how bright and vibrant the orange is and just how deep and rich the purple is against it. On its own, it would not have had such an effect. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and this was all from the kit. So all flosses were from the kit and so was the fabric itself. It is a 14 count Ada and I am doing it two over one. So again, two threads, one square. And um, it had a bunch of three quarter stitches in it, but three quarters are okay. So for anyone that doesn't know, you go up on your diagonal in the facing direction, and then you bring your needle back down and split in the middle here so that you have a triangle. That is a three quarter stitch. Um, because I know that a few of you have asked questions. So those were pretty easy to do. The splitting was a little bit awkward, but I just used a smaller needle and it came out really nicely. Um, you can see, you can see them in examples on the top of the M and the U there and the bottom of the M and the A. Um, it's really clear there's quite a few of them, but they are very, very doable, very manageable, was completely happy with it. And I am super excited to be starting the next one because these are only made to fit inside three inch hoops. These are perfect for work. I can do these on the lunch break. They take a couple of days. <laughs> There doesn't look like many stitches in there, but each word is 125 stitches. Um, and then it's plus the eyelets, plus the back stitching that was supposed to be in there. So, you know, it takes a little bit to do, which is nice, it takes a few lunch breaks, um, but they are the perfect size to keep in my desk drawer at work. So that's currently where the kit is and it's all lined up ready for the second piece. It's going to be the flying implements of the three ladies. So the broom, the mop and the vacuum cleaner. Um, and then I'm going to do their hair next. So there's one with the three, three girls hair, the three Sanderson sisters. Um, and I'm really excited to do them. They're going to be so much fun and they're just going to be really, really cute. There are four patterns in total, but it only comes with three pieces of Ada, which seems a bit silly. Um, but we're dealing with that. We're dealing with that. It's just 14 count Ada, right? Go get my own and put it in the kit. Not a big deal. So the brand itself is called RP Minis. Um, and it's really cute. So it comes with all of your embroidery floss, two needles, a few squares of Ada, a little tiny plastic chunky hoop. And of course your instruction book with all your patterns in it. It's very, very sweet. If you do get it, I very much advise you to photocopy and blow up those patterns because let me tell you, they are tiny. They are tiny and they hurt my eyes quite a bit, but it's so worth it when you get them done because they're just so cute and so sweet. 
So I'm thinking that because there are four pieces in this kit that I will go through and stitch all four of them and then pair them up so that I can make tiny little cushions out of them and have one on this side and then one on the back side and just have this cute little puffy cushion and maybe do like a ribbon so that it hangs down and it can turn and things like that. Um, so if you do have tips or tutorials on making little pillows or cushions, please let me know uh, because I will need those fairly soon, fairly soon. They stitch up pretty quickly. Um, like I said, I think I only took a few days of lunchtime. My lunches are short, they're only 30 minutes and that includes the time I have to go buy food and eat the food before I sit down to stitch. Um, so I don't get a huge amount of time to do everything I would like to do, but it is nice to just have that cute little stress relieving project in my drawer. The next project I have for you is another start and finish. And this one was actually gifted out to me by my friend Jen over at Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole. Uh, and it's freaking bats. Freaking bats. I absolutely love this piece. I absolutely love it. Shout out to anyone that said, I love Halloween at the ends because you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this pattern itself was made by Kate Blanford and it came in the witching box and it was gifted to me by my friend Jen because I saw that she had it and I got all excited and I was like, where can I buy it? I need that. So she made sure I got a copy. I have done this on a 28 count even weave that is called Cool Glow. I'm really, really happy with how this all came out. I think it turned out beautifully, beautifully. I absolutely love it. This one, we have four different fosses. We have our black, our white, and then two etoiles. So we had a black etoile and a purple etoile. Um, so it's just got that sparkle, but the fabric itself is also sparkly because why not, babe? Why not? Um, she's a little extra. She's very giving. Um, in person, she is super shiny because she is proper opalescent, like woven through the fibers, not sprayed on type. And I absolutely love it. I am obsessed with her. I stitched this as two over two, so two strands over two holes. If you haven't done over two before, it's a bit like playing um, noughts and crosses with the four corners instead of doing a normal square with the four corners. It's a noughts and crosses grid. I think that makes sense. It makes sense to me. That's how I can explain it. If you are new at a cross stitch and you want to know how to do over two, let me know and I will like, just let me know through a DM somewhere and I will let you know. Um, what I'm talking about because I had no idea until I learned, so obviously you won't either. But I'm so happy with how this came out. I love it so much. I am currently painting a hoop that my friend Marion got for me because she is an absolute angel. Marion is one of my friends from my local library. We meet up every two weeks and we stitch together and just have a really good time with a bunch of other ladies and gentlemen that come, come out. Um, and I think we sit there for something like two or three hours and we just chat and stitch and have a great time. Um, and we all work on different projects and people will do things like bring their knitting or their crochet because they just want to sit with a cool bunch of people and hang out and have a good time. And that's what we're all about down at our library. Um, so that's always a lot of fun to do. But I let my friend Marion know that I did not have the right hoop for this. This finishes in a perfect five inch round. I had a six, a 10, a 12, a four and a three. No five, no five anywhere to be seen. And I was telling my friend Marion about it and I was just like, oh, I just wanna, I just wanna finish it. Like, I just wanted to put it in the hoop straight away and get it all done, but I didn't have one. So I took photos of it in a bigger hoop. <laughs> I took photos of her in a six inch hoop, which looked okay, but there was way too much dead space way too much dead space. Um, and then I got a cute little message from her that said, I went up shopping today and I found a five inch hoop. She is such an angel. She brought it down for me so that I could put him away. And I have currently got it sitting on my back table. It's propped up in a cup because I painted it and I did not think about how you're supposed to dry a circle that you paint the outside of. So it's currently sticky taped to a cup. 
um, in an upright position <laughs> so that it doesn't touch anything. I've painted the outside in a dark purple to bring out these purple accents that they have had charted. Um, and I am hoping to put tiny little bats on it, but we'll see if my painting skills are up to snuff or not to do that. And I think it'll look really cute. So hopefully it will be hung up for a little while in the background here because I think it's just such a fun piece. And the colors in it are just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I absolutely, I could rave about this piece for ages. I'm so happy with how it came out. A huge, 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 huge thank you to Jen for um, gifting me the pattern. I loved it. I had a great time stitching it. Um, thank you so much, babe. You absolutely just, you know, it's, it's just made me so happy. I could talk about this pattern all day. I absolutely loved it. I loved stitching it. Doing the words was really satisfying. Just something about letters going in and building. So nice, so nice. Um, so thank you so much, Jen. I really, really enjoyed this. And you have no idea just how much joy it actually brought me and how happy it's made me to stitch this. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, the last thing I have to share with you today is a brand new start. And I'm sure a lot of you have guessed what it is. I'm sure a lot of you have. Here is my deadly aquarium. I am almost through the 310. Almost through the 310. I think I have 500 stitches of it to go. And it's just outlining this signpost and pulling down the border. And then a little bit under here. Because these two, and I think this one, go down quite a bit further. So she almost fits in my big frame. This is my 17 by 11 snap. This is my favorite size to work with. I don't know why, it's just really comfortable for me. I find it to be a great size. Here's a close up of the aquarium itself so that you guys can have a good look and get right in there for that top section, which is super pretty, super pretty. Um, and very intricate. I really enjoyed doing it, but it has to be symmetrical. There is already a mistake. But I made the mistake on the other side too, so she matches. She's still fierce. Um, <laughs> um, I'm really, really enjoying working on this one. As you can see, she almost, almost fits in this frame. Um, it's coming quite close to the edge. I think I have to move it over for those last few stitches, which is a bit annoying, um, but totally okay totally okay and very manageable. I can do that. Um, and then I have to move her down because 11 inches at the bottom is not quite deep enough for her. I think I had two rows left, like a, a two blocks of 10 underneath this to make her fit. I am doing this over two so she is a little bit bigger and I'm doing it on 32 counts. So this is going to match my greenhouse size exactly. Um, because I would like them to be companion pieces. It probably means I'll have to reframe my greenhouse because she is in an op shop frame. I did that before I knew that this piece was going to happen. <laughs> and now I'm going to need them to look the same and be hung together. So I am pretty excited to go frame shopping once this is all done and have a good look and find something hopefully a little bit ornate, a little bit fancy for the two girls so that they can hang up together on my wall and just be real statement pieces because I think they're fabulous. Fabulous. I love Lola Crow's designs. I love the way that they stitch up and they're just so enjoyable to work on, uh, stitch through. And they feel really fluid, even though there's a lot of little pieces at the top there that, you know, are starts and stops and things like that. It feels like a continuous motion. I don't know how else to describe doing these pieces. I think if you've done some Lola Crow work before, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just got a completely different feel when you're stitching to everyone else's work that I've done so far. And I really, really enjoy that. So I am going to stick with it. I am hoping to keep up to date on this stitch along because I didn't keep up to date on the Christmas one she released and it's still sitting in its bag. It's a little bit sad. <laughs> I think I'm up to ornament four or five um, and there are like seven. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go, but I would like to try and get that one back out and get her finished because it was pretty close to being, to being like good. Um, so I'd like to get that in, but I really think that I can stay on top of this one. Apart from this release, which is monstrous, 
it's 6,000 something stitches. All of the other ones are usually a fair bit smaller. Um, so I think it's going to be manageable for me. However, this release, this release, we get extra time. So it's not so bad that it's got a monstrous number attached to it. I do get six weeks to complete the frame, but have been a tiny bit obsessed. This is what has blocked out Scary Sampler from me. This is what has stopped me working on my Gilmore Girls piece. I just, I couldn't put it down once I started it. That was it. I just kept going. So at the moment, I just want to finish all the 310, which I should be able to do in the next couple of days. So excited for that one. Um, and then I think I'll pick like the smallest number off that and I'll put in the next color and then I'll take a break and do my scary sampler for a few days and then come back and do a bit more and then go back to my scary sampler and just alternate every maybe two days, every three days, something like that, so that I can make sure I'm actually getting all of my stitch alongs in. Because remember that my scary sampler is also a stitch along that I am doing with my friend Amy that I was supposed to start on the 13th and I started this instead. Oops. Um, but it came out and I just couldn't resist it. You know, look at this thing. It's so pretty, <laughs> so pretty. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't not do it. I, I think that's fair. I think you guys understand, right? It's okay. It's okay. Um, so I'm hoping to get at least two colors done on this and then I'll put it down and I'll work on the scary sampler because I feel like that's a good achievement. And then I will hopefully get a bit more done on the scary sampler. That's everything that I've worked on lately. Um, so in the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping to get a fair bit done so that I can share with you. I'm hoping to get two colors done on our aquarium. I'm hoping to get the little Hocus Pocus piece done, the second one, which just a reminder is all the flying implements from the ladies. So I'm hoping to do that one. And then finally, I would like to work on the scary sampler a bit more. And then if I achieve all of that, I can go back to Stars Hollow and I can finish the gray and rose skirt. Um, those are lofty goals for the next two weeks. It is a good number of stitches, well into the thousands. But I am hoping to get there because I have a lot to do in fandom stitching still. So I need to shake a tail feather over there. Um, and it's just a matter of trying to fit everything into the prompts, which I'm not so good at. So I might have to Disney Plus it. Thankfully, Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus is Disney Plus. So that's really good for me. I can do their pieces. They are only small though, so I wouldn't put them up for, you know, thousand odd stitches. Maybe 300, maybe 400. That sort of number I think will be okay. Um, so I'll try and get that done for that. But otherwise, I need to try and wrestle the aquarium and scary sampler into fandom stitching for this week and this month because oh babes i am behind i am behind i got obsessed and i couldn't work out how to fit it to the prompts so i just started stitching yearlies instead <laughs> bad habits <laughs> i am doing my best i am doing my best i will stitch more it's fine um so hopefully i will be able to get some progress and then get some points um, I will probably fit them all into movie watching prompts because I have not started movies this month. Whoopsies. Um, but I have reached my stitch along points and my finish points, which are both really, really good achievements. I'm very happy with that. So I did do something this month and I'm pretty, pretty chuffed, pretty chuffed that I'm sticking with the whole fandom stitching thing and I'm getting through most of the stuff. But for now, that's everything from me. That's all my plans. Um, so hopefully I can achieve most of them <laughs> so that when I come back, I have a fair few things to share with you again. Um, but yeah, until next time, I hope you stay safe, you be happy and you craft something beautiful. I'll see you in two weeks. Bye crafty creators.